I want to talk about AI, because we've been talking about it a lot here, um, which I want to get it clear what your thoughts are, because it's mostly Elon scared of robots. I mean, that kind of thing. Or what, How do you? I'm scared of robots. Um, or I, I artificial think, intelligence. Can you like clarify exactly what the issue you have now? And, and you deserve the background. We've been talking to uh, Jeff Bezos, yeah. Sundar Pichai. Uh, we talked to Mark Fields from Ford about it. Um, it for, uh, uh, yeah, the Facebook folks. Um, there certainly seems to be uh, in the I, in the tech companies a big, tremendous new drive or interest. To believing they will be all competing all good. for intelligent assistance, and, and it's good. It'll make your life that. better. And make some, your life better. Siri is going to suddenly get smart. Yeah. Microsoft's one is going to get smart, and Google is going to cream it, them all. It's largely a happy version of this. Is going sometimes technology hurts you, but not as much as it helps you. That's really yeah. So that's there's been a lot of conversation here about yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Um, and yet, and you've staked out a slightly different position. So can you talk about that? Well, I mean, I think my sort of full position would re require quite a long explanation. Um, I mean, I, I am concerned about um, certain directions that AI could take that would be uh, not good for the future. The, the, I mean, it, it, I think it would be fair to say that like, not all AI futures are benign, not, not all. Okay. Um, and, and so if you have something, if, 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 this, if we create some digital superintelligence that exceeds us in every way by a lot, um, it's very important that that be benign. Um, and, um, and so actually with, with, uh, with a few others, um, I created uh, OpenAI, uh, which is uh, an AI, uh, it's a nonprofit actually, it's, so there's, it's, there's no, I think the governance structure here is important because um, we want to make sure that there was not some fiduciary duty to uh, generate, um, you know, profit off of the AI technology that's developed. Um, so, uh, so we created this five one C three, but it, but I think it's it's I think quite different from. I mean, like a lot of sort of five one C threes are, you know, they. have they don't have a high sense of urgency. Um, and they're, like, they're, they're not like, um, you know, they're not really sort of ex developing technology at, 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 a, at a fast pace, but OpenAI is. Uh, so OpenAI has a very high sense of urgency and the town, I think that the people that have joined are, are really, really amazing. Um, um, and, um, and the intent with OpenAI is to democratize AI power. Um, there's a quote that I love from uh, Lord Acton. He was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and despotism in its concentration. And so I think it's important if we have this incredible power of AI that it not be concentrated in the hands of a few and potentially lead to a world that we don't want. And what world is that? What, is the, what do you see, foresee that? When you said, it's difficult. To, I mean, it's called the singularity because it's it's difficult to predict um, what exactly what future that might be. Except, um, I don't know a lot of people who love the idea of living under a despot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't think people generally choose to live in a democracy over a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And the despot would be the computer. Well, the people controlling the computer. Mm -hmm. And do you worry? specifically about any of these companies I mentioned, who've all seemed to now kind Indeed. of be pivoting toward this as the battleground in the next 10 years? I won't name a name, but there is only one. There's only one you're worried about. And they're not preoccupied with making a car that will compete with you, I assume. There's only one. <laughs> <laughs> And what, tell, tell me, this is an interesting... It's not about, it's not about competing. It's, is there, like, like, this is sort of like, who, like, what would be the point of competing for, you know, mutual destruction? It's like, there's no, it's not about competing. It's really just about um, trying to increase the probability that the future will be good. That's all. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal of, open, of OpenAI is really just to take the set of actions that are most likely to improve the positive futures. Like, if you can think of like the future as a set of 
of probability streams that, yep. that, that branch out and then converge, collapse down to a particular event and then branch out again. And uh, there's a certain set of probabilities associated with the future being positive and different type flavors of that. And uh, at OpenAI, we want to try to do, do whatever we can to guide, to, to increase the probability of the good futures happening. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's really what we're trying to do, do there.